by golly. Every time, it's a good one. We're just starting this off, man. No script. This is all natural. When you think about a good walking treadmill or running treadmill, what do you think of? What brand do you think of? The Peloton. The Peloton. Well, today we're not reviewing the Peloton. Today we are reviewing the Kingsmith Walking Pad X21. It's a foldable treadmill that you can literally store upright underneath your bed wherever you want. There's a lot of great things about this unit and there's a lot of things that aren't so great. <laughs> This is a great product and I do recommend it and I do recommend that you buy it, especially if you're a jiggly dad like myself and you want to just go for a splendid little walk. So overall, we have winter coming up and so if you're wanting to get into shape, this is a great way to defeat that dad bod. So here is the list of things that we're going to be looking at as we go through this review. I'm going to look at my phone because I have a note. The unboxing, the folding and storing features, quality, accessories, weight capacity and speed, application, buttons, and stat display. And so what I mean by stat display, it actually has a bar that you can hold on to and on top it displays all your stats. So that's what that means. Let's go ahead and go through each category together. So when my unit arrived, I ordered it off of Amazon. The packaging was okay. On the box itself, there were a couple of indents and some impact points. Although around it, there was some tape and there was also some of that plastic strap to kind of hold everything in tight. Upon opening it up, everything was packaged pretty secure. You had a bunch of styrofoam, you had a bunch of cardboard pieces blocking the uh, primary components and so on and so forth. And the unboxing experience overall was fairly simple. It had a smaller box inside the bigger box and that box was namely for all the accessories. So here we have a box full of accessories. In the accessory box you get a bunch of manuals, you get your power cable, and then of course you get your Allen wrench and tools to actually set up the unit. You get that awesome emergency stop feature that you can attach to your hip so if you were to trip or fumble it would pull out of the top of the bar and allow the treadmill to stop. You get a tray that you can connect to the top of the bar to allow you to set your iPad or iPhone or whatever on it. Getting it out of the box was a little bit of a struggle, but in the end, we were able to get it out. Upon inspecting the unit, unfortunately, mine arrived damaged. I don't know how it happened, but on the bottom where the main component in the motor is, there was an indent and it made it bubble. So there was actually an indent point of where something hit it. I don't know what it was, if it happened prior to the boxing, but we're sending it back because I think as a result of that impact point, there's an issue with the actual motor inside. We ended up getting an error E02 and based off of the company's website, there's something wrong with the actual motor. So I was actually discouraged. So I reached out to them, they offered a $50 compensation or to simply return or replace the unit. So we'll be exchanging the unit for another one. We want it back because we really like it, but that was just a bummer. You know, you wait a couple weeks and it's like, boom, it comes damaged and it's like, oh man. But nonetheless, so far the customer service seems pretty solid. The setting up process is fairly easy as well. You simply fold it on down. There's a little lever on the top that you pull and you allow the uh, top of the unit to come down and then you unfold it again. The, the tread and everything else snaps into place. Very simple. And to store it away, you simply fold it one time and then pull the bottom latch again to fold up the last part and then lock it into place. When it comes to the folding and storing features, I found that when you store the product upright, it's a little bit goofy because on the back, as you can see here, the treadmill part is still movable. You can still move it back and forth. And if you move it too much, like you're unfolding it, the bottom of the tread will just fall out and it's all flapping around and you can't get it to really close properly. But when you're able to get it folded up and you just let it sit in its place, the treadmill itself is not an eyesore. It's actually pretty cool and pretty modern. On the bottom of the unit, if you want to move it to a different room, there's actually wheels on the bottom. So you can literally just drag it across and roll it on to the next bedroom. And it works better on hardwood floors than it does on carpet because if you're on carpet, it doesn't roll well at all. The unit itself weighs a lot, so when you're trying to lift it around, it's quite heavy to move. It's a treadmill for Pete's sakes. So if you are on that hardwood floor, it's gonna be great for you because you can literally roll it and move it to wherever you need to move it. So after unfolding the product 
and getting everything set up, you're gonna wanna locate the oil that came along with the product. In regards to lubing the product, what I found very helpful is when you're about to unfold it, it leaves a little bit of a gap between the actual unit and the tread. So what I did is I took the oil, I went inside and I made kind of like a figure eight or kind of like an S feature back and forth, back and forth on both sides. And as a result, I just set it back down and then I let the unit run and that kind of spread the lube all over. In front of the unit, towards the bottom, you have the power button and then you have the place where the power cable goes into. Simply plug it in, plug it into the wall and you're all set to go for power. The displays that show the stats of your calories, your speed and distance, it's really, really cool. I like the way that they did this. It's such a neat way to look at a treadmill. This is almost like the apple of treadmills. After turning on the unit, you go to the top of the bar and there's a big center button. And after you turn on the power, you're gonna notice that the button's green and it's all ready to go for your run. The main button is really, really cool because it reminds me of the Nest Control thermostat. It's really useful. It's such a neat way to adjust the speeds of your treadmill. And furthermore, the button itself is really responsive and it's really well made. In regards to the increments, as you start running, the increments go up by 0.1. So you can have 5.1, 1.1, 1.2, so on and so forth. It does it by little increments, so you can slowly increase the speed or slowly decrease your speed. The max speed of the unit is 7.5 miles per hour. The maximum weight capacity of this unit is 240 pounds. I myself weigh 235 pounds. On some other days, it's 240 plus. And so either way, can you do it if you're around that weight? Yes. The unit operates just fine for me and for my wife. And just for my wife's sake, she's like in her hundreds. So she, she weighs like a penny. One thing that's really important to runners and people wanting to get into fit is how loud is the unit? The unit itself really isn't that loud. Here's a little sound test for you. So if you have an issue where the belt itself is moving to the left, what you're gonna do is on the back of the treadmill, there's a part to insert your Allen wrench. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on the left side, tighten up that left side, and try to correct it so it comes back to the center, okay? So what I typically do is I turn on the unit, and as it's running and touching or rubbing against the left side, I will tighten the left side. I would do it by half increments or less, and then you'll slowly see it correct itself. And when it stays in the middle, you're all good. But let's go over how to download and how to locate their application. Their application is called KS Fit. They have a little manual here. You can literally just utilize your camera to find the QR code. And then from the QR code, it allows you to go into the app store and download the application. I'm doing this on an Apple device. And when you have the app fully downloaded, it encourages you to create a profile. You can go through the creating process. It's fairly simple. And after you have it done, you're at this part where you have two options on the bottom. It's motion and then mine. Uh, for motion, you just hit add manually. And then from there, you can add the device that you're working with. So we are gonna scroll down and find the X21. You'll tap on the X21. And then from there, you have the ability to add that device. So through this application, you can track all of your runs. You can track your calories. You can track your stats. You can do all of that fun stuff. For me, I have an Apple Watch. I have other applications that I can use to track this. So I don't think that I'm really gonna use it. But if this is something that's new to you, go ahead and utilize their app. Their app only has two stars, unfortunately, on the App Store, but nonetheless, this is a great way to get started. In conclusion, do I recommend this product? Yes. I recommend you get it, especially if you're just wanting to do a little walking or if you're looking to do a lot of running. This product here doesn't have any adjustable height or anything like that. It's just a simple walking, running treadmill. And if that's what you're looking for, I do recommend it. The biggest things that put me off is the fact that when you fold it up, it's still loose and some of the bottom of the treadmill flaps and then the belt itself unfolds and it kind of gets messy. 
Uh, furthermore, the initial unboxing, I found that there was a big major dent. So I don't know if there's an issue with packaging, but you might run into that yourself. And then we got that error E02. But the biggest thing for me is when I'm working with companies, I want to know that they have my back. And being that they responded in a promptly way, I do recommend them for that purpose. But overall, the feel and everything else, I just really enjoyed it. And it reminded me of a Apple unboxing experience without the dent. My name's Shadeless. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hit on that notification bell for future videos. I'm also on TikTok and I make short form content on there. So if you have a chance, stop by my TikTok, Shadeless TTV, and hit a follow there as well. With that being said, it's your boy Shadeless. And as always, seek Jesus. God bless.